So let's go in the menu Analyze, Correlate, Bivariate. Here in this window I have to enter my variables height of case and weight of case. The order is not important. That's all. All the other options are set up. Here in this border, correlation coefficients, the Pearson correlation is already selected. So I can click OK. This is the Pearson correlation table. Let's focus on this cell because here we have all the information we need about the correlation between the subject's height and the subject's weight. From this table we have to report two values. The p-value, which is here in the SIG line. In this case we have to report it as being lower than 0 0.0005. And the second value to report is the Pearson correlation value here in this line, Pearson correlation which is 0 0.80. The p-value is lower than 5%, obviously, so we will reject the null hypothesis here. In other words, the correlation between height and weight is significant in the total population. As a matter of fact, as you notice here, the FPSS program flags the significant correlations here with two asterisks. You notice this mention here, correlation is significant at the 0.01 level, so with a 99% confidence level. We're talking about a strong correlation here because the value of the coefficient is 0.80, greater than 0.70. Also, this is a direct correlation because the coefficient is positive. So, in conclusion, in other words, the high subjects have also greater weights or, reciprocally, the weighted subjects are also high. In conclusion, there is a strong positive correlation between the subject's height and the subject's weight. Moreover, this correlation is significantly different from zero in the total population. One more thing before the end. Based on the Pearson correlation, we can compute the coefficient of determination, which is the shared variance of the two variables. So, the proportion of variance in one variable that is explained by the other variable. To find out the coefficient of determination, we simply square the Pearson correlation. This coefficient is usually expressed as a percentage. In our case, it's 65%. So, 65% of the weight variation is explained by the height variation. Please note that we are talking about a statistical explanation here, not a causal explanation. So, the best way to write this in our report is the variation in the subject's height statistically explains 65% of the variation in the subject's weight.